President Donald Trump had a lot to say this afternoon about the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia over the weekend. That is where a racially charged protest ended with a man driving his car through a crowd of people. Today, the president said both sides have to take some of the blame for the violence. What about the alt-left that came charging at the, as you say, the alt-right? Do they have any semblance of guilt? What, let, let me ask you this. What about the fact they came charging, that they came charging with clubs in their hands, swinging clubs? Do they have any problem? I think they do. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that was a horrible, horrible day. Wait a minute. I'm not finished. I'm not finished, fake news. That was a horrible day. I, I will tell you something. I watched those very closely, much more closely than you people watched it. And you have, uh, you, you had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. And nobody wants to say that, but I'll say it right now. You had a group, you had a group on the other side that came charging in without a permit, and they were very, very violent. And here's what President Trump had to say when asked about waiting to publicly condemn white supremacist groups by name. I didn't wait long. I wanted to make sure, unlike most politicians, that what I said was correct, not make a quick statement. The statement I made on Saturday, the first statement, was a fine statement. But you don't make statements that direct unless you know the fact. It takes a little while to get the facts. You still don't know the facts. And it's a very, very uh, important process to me. And it's a very important statement. So I don't want to go quickly and just make a statement for the sake of making a political statement. I want to know the facts. It was Saturday when 20-year-old James Fields rammed his car into a crowd of counter-protesters. 32-year-old Heather Heyer was killed. Nearly two dozen others were injured. James Field is charged in Heyer's death. He had his first day in court yesterday where a judge denied bond. In the wake of the violence in Charlottesville, cities across the country are reevaluating what they want to do with their Confederate statues. Right now, statues are being removed or are slated for removal in Gainesville, Florida, Baltimore, San Antonio, and elsewhere.